Airport Board Meeting, Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz raised concern about the Guam International Airport Authority's lease with PAC Air. And I understand that there are tenants that are not airport related that are moving into those buildings or there's, there's consideration to have those people move into the buildings. It was in 2009 the ribbon was cut on the Guam Integrated Air Cargo Facility, described as a public-private venture between GIAA and the PAC Air properties. The new facility developed by Pack Air was a $23 million investment in a state-of-the-art integrated air cargo facility. As part of its lease, payment would be deferred for Pack Air for five years and the company is able to sublease its space. Aside from the issue of deferred payments and concerns raised about Pack Air charging rent to Guam Customs, a GovGuam agency, Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz and GIAA Board Chairman Mike Israel are concerned Pack Air is overstepping its authority and subleasing space to an entity that's not airport related. He feels that it's unfair that the airport and our, through our tenant or directly is competing with the private sector. Um, this actually is also um, my position that I've held when I first came into the airport. Um, about a year ago it was being proposed that a portion of the land over by the police uh, station be set aside and the airport hire a developer or a contractor to build a tall, a, a large um, commercial complex to rent to the GSA, the Federal GSA, which is General Services Administration, for use as ICE and eventually the FBI and a few other enforcement agencies were thrown in. Mm -hmm. um, at the time that this proposal was coming uh, to us, I vehemently uh, objected to it be on the grounds that we should not be competing against the private sector. There are many people, including myself, as well as other private landowners who have properties, just like the airport, who they pay property taxes and they compete, and that, that the airport, if this is not an airport-related function, we should not do that. The irony, Pack Air evidently is planning to sublease its office space to GSA, which means several federal agencies could be making the move to Tizen. And if Israel's statement about the GSA hold true, this would mean agencies like ICE, currently renting out of Serena Plaza and which is managed through his private real estate company, Tenota Partners, could possibly be moving out as well. Some in the airport feel that Pack Air um, might have a, um, a provision in their lease agreement that allows them to lease, sublease it to the GSA without our permission or consent. Um, I reviewed the lease agreement. I think it's pretty clear it's airport-related uses only and that if they want to amend the lease, they need to come back to the board and get approval. That has not been done. In fact, no proposal has actually been submitted. We, we at the board had not heard anything about it, nor had our new general manager who just came on board a couple months ago. He, he had not heard anything about Pack Air either. So uh, we have a little bit of confusion at the airport. Confusion is an understatement. KUAM spoke with the current executive manager of the airport, Charles Adit who says he is aware of the lease and sublease issue and he along with their legal counsel are reviewing it. He adds there's also a misconception that airport property must be used for airport related functions. Case in point, many of you may have noticed this structure going up along airport road. It's definitely not airport related as Adit confirms that former airport management and board approved a lease for the construction of a restaurant to be constructed. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Nick Delgado.